But yeah, uh, before we get to all the uh, summonings for today, we got like a few trailers to watch here. Um, one for Genshin and one for Star Rail. So we got two trailers today that we uh, that were just released like an hour ago, actually. That I do want to watch before we officially begin. Uh, the first one is uh, for Genshin Impact, and it's the Arlequino short that was released uh, that, that we got a teaser of yesterday, which is like seven minutes long, which is pretty long actually. And then we got like a 40 second one with Aventurine, of course, in it, which is like I think it's a little like animated short to promote him as well. But yes, yeah, so we'll be watching them both as of right now. Oh yeah, right, yeah, the drip marketing for Genshin is within like next week, so we will know who comes out in 4.7. I'm gonna guess it's Clorand or maybe Emil, the, the character that we don't know anything about. But yeah, here, here's hoping it's a hype character reveal. But yeah, let's just uh, do this first. Yeah, yeah watch Arlequino's uh, little animated short here, and also the animated short with Aventurine in it. But yes, Song Burning in the Ember. So we got a taste of this anime short like yesterday for like a 30 second clip. And now here's a full, full clip in its entirety. I'm gonna see, I'm, I'll, I'll put the volume at this. But yeah, no clue what this short's all about. I'm guessing it's gonna be like all about Arlequino's like past and whatnot, judging by like the few snips we saw in yesterday's trailer. But I guess we'll find out as soon as we begin watching, right? So, alrighty, let's do this. And yeah, of course I'm gonna be pulling for Arlequino when 4.6 releases for Genshin. But yeah. Let's do this. Seven minutes long. That's a very, very long anime short. So let us begin. Oh, so yeah, don't forget for you guys to leave a like on the on the stream just so I can get some block for Aventurine. Whoa. But here in the house of the hearth, you will grow up to be strong. Your goal is to Oh, look at all these innocent little stuffed animals. Oh. And well, that's precious. <laughs> oh, what the I fuck? Didn't she want Who are these guys? Excuse me, mother. She's doing a funeral for her spider. That child. Excuse me? Maybe her curse is flaring. Funeral for her, her spider? Clairvy. See to her. Oh, okay. Okay, all the kid was fucked up as a as a kid too, I see. <laughs> I brought cake. <laughs> you you want some? Sure. Uh, no, is this what the house of Earth was like? <laughs> like yeah, at the beginning, it was like just an innocent church, no, not church, um, orphanage. So oh, look at how simple times were back then. This is gonna get dark real quick, isn't it? Genshin just loves to do that, and also Star Real as well. Is it me or does she look like a... I was gonna say she looks like a baby Himiko. But nah, Himiko's... Himiko's hair is a lot redder than that. Do mothers usually argue with their daughters? Yeah. I heard that in Smash Damn this animation though. Dances in the sky at night. Speaking of anime, when's the Genshin anime going to be announced? Like, when are we going to get a release date for that? <laughs> nah, this is precious and all, but... I can sense... Yep. Yep. I was just waiting for it to turn. Oh my god, she got... Holy shit, she legit got pierced through. I'm sorry. Thank you. Wait, did... Did Arlequino fucking kill her? Oh my god, what? Why? <laughs> Uh, these these Genshin backstories really do be uh, depressing more and more now. Uh. Oh, I'm guessing the mother was extremely fucked up. Long ago, not waited till it wilts. How grotesque! Oh wait, yeah, I'm just like the bell flowers of Fontaine. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my 
god. T Teenager Alakino looks so good with short hair, honestly. Innocence and kindness are such beautiful qualities. Sadly, they're all so useless. Jeez. This woman's like Signora, but significantly worse. Also, yeah, did she like beat up her own daughter? Is that what's the implications? Because, yeah, the, the red hitting girl was like always injured. If so, goodness. A bird tied down will never fly the nest. You are no exception. Oh, the fucking music, though! <laughs> Oh, fuck. Stay away, don't fall asleep. The way is long and Dude, the f I didn't expect lyrics in this fucking teaser. Holy shit. I gotta hear this full song <laughs> soon. Surrender. Let your mother guide you, and you shall become the one true king. Oh, <laughs> fucking anime dodging. Oh my god, she's beginning to believe. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy mother of anime. <laughs> <laughs> she obliterated the whole fucking building, are you kidding me? And we're supposed to fight her in 4.6. <laughs> How are we surviving against this woman? <laughs> Holy shit. The harp? Wait, she was a harbinger? Oh, wait, she must have been like the old knave or something. Did she, like, take her place? She must have, right? Her Majesty the Tsaritsa has decreed as follows. I hereby pardon your crimes Piero, wait. and bestow oh. upon you a new name. Hang on, I gotta pause. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... <laughs> Why does Karamuch have a... <laughs> that code looks way too big on him. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for pausing, but that just looks so fucking funny. But interesting, these must be like the first starting Harbingers, right? Senor, we know, is like over like 500 years old. Piero, obviously, he's from Kanya. Capitano. Capitano, I thought he was like purely human, but hmm. Didn't know he was. Actually, no, he. Hmm. Actually, we don't know anything about Capitano, so I shouldn't, I shouldn't assume, but it does make sense why Scaramouche is here. So, interesting. This is like before Child joined, I believe, or the other Harbingers for that matter. Interesting. Okay, let me continue. This title and its legacy of bloodshed are now yours to bear, my poor, mad, cursed name. Name! That is a fucking badass fucking short. I... Oh. Hey, Aventurine, what are you doing here? <laughs> Don't worry, we're pulling for you in a bit. Come with me. I will raise you as my child. Like a strict and unfeeling... father. Yes, I would gladly join the orphanage. <laughs> Who was that kid at the end, though? Is that Linny, or...? Wait, no, that, that could have been Framine. Wait, who's the, who's the Genshin character we know that has, like, blonde hair and blonde eyes? Is, was that Fremine? Or it must have been just some random uh, child that she took in into the house of heart. But damn, that was a really, really good trailer. Holy shit. Yeah, I thought that was Kakaba shot at first. <laughs> but no, this is Genshin. This is not Star Rail. We're, we're getting to Star Rail in a bit, but... Damn, that was a really, really good animated short. Holy shit. I guess, yes, there you go. Yep, you, you witnessed it. The birth of the father. And... Damn, I did not know she killed the previous Harbinger, though. That, yeah, that must have been, like, the old knave and also the old uh, father at the House of Hearth. 
<laughs> Until Arlequina fucking obliterated her, as well as the entire building. Good lord. Yep, I can't wait for, to pull for this woman uh, on the day she releases at 4.6. Probably just a random kid? Yeah, I, I, I figure so. I, I thought it would be like either like a, a young Linny, Lynette, or Fremine, but I don't remember the, any of them having blonde eyes. Yep, that is the end of... Uh... Arlequino's uh, trailer. Can't wait to pull for when 4.6 releases. But as of right now, it's time for Star Rail. And uh, as for Star Rail, we got also another trailer right here in uh, yep, the Moment Among Stars. Non-Zero Sum Game, which is a deep, essentially a Venturines trailer. It's only 40 seconds long, but usually the animations on these usually slap hard as hell. So still going to be watching this. And also, hopefully, watching this will give me some good luck on uh, pulling for a Venturine as well. Because I... I need to win the 50-50, man. I don't have enough to guarantee. <laughs> I really gotta win this 50-50 for sure, please. Yes, let us begin uh, watching this quick 40-second trailer, and then afterwards, well, yeah, we'll begin pulling for him. All right, my boy Kakabasha, let's see what you got for me, boy. Your humble servant, Aventurine. Hey, yo. <laughs> the drip on Just this the man. The machine known as the Strategic Investment Department. God, he looks handsome. I can also play the role of friend. <laughs> and this guy's nervous as shit meeting him. I mean, I'd be too. Holy mother of money! Use me as you wish. Even stab me in the back if you see fit. Okay. I don't make deals that don't pay off. <laughs> That's a very weird so thing to say to somebody upon first meeting them, but okay. <laughs> No, oh, wow, that, that was it. <laughs> okay, but yes, eventually I will use you as I see fit. That's... Don't take that out of context. <laughs> That's uh, probably not something I should say aloud. Never mind. I take that holy pack. <laughs> but holy mother of money. <laughs> yep, it's time for us to fucking gamble for the gambler. He's Yeah, eventually he's pretty much saying, yeah, spend all your money on me. Make me your only shielder <laughs> forever. <laughs> Replace that night caught Japard. Yeah, why do you throw the coin in the wine? That's just very unhygienic, right? <laughs> Coins are usually fucking dirty as hell. You don't want to do that. But yeah, that was a very short but very... Very, very interesting trailer, and uh, I have nothing else to say but now, but uh, yeah, to let's begin pulling for him.